If you've been struggling to get all of your social media content posted and you haven't used the Canva Content Planner because you're just not sure if it really works or how it works or how complicated it is to use, well, in today's video, I'm going to show you super simple, easy steps to use the Canva Content Planner. Hey friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Willow and I've been using Canva for nine years and I use it daily for my business. My channel is dedicated to showing everyone all the amazing things that you can do with Canva. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial is released. So the tutorial today is all about the Canva Content Planner. This is a pro account feature, but don't worry, you'll find a link in the description for a free 30-day trial of the Canva Pro account. So be sure to grab it and give the content planner a try. It's going to make life so much easier if you post on multiple social media sites. So let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, to get to our content planner in Canva, we're going to start from the home page, come over to the left sidebar, come down to the bottom and click on content planner. And just a quick reminder here that I use the desktop version of Canva but these instructions will apply to the online version and the app. The only difference is that in the app, you will go to the bottom right corner to the menu button. Click on that and that will open the settings that are in the left sidebar of the desktop and online version. And another thing to point out here again is the crown on the content planner. It is a pro account feature but there is a link in the description for you to get a free 30-day trial of the Canva Pro. So grab that and give this a try. I think you'll find that the Canva Pro account is really, really worth it. So we're going to start with these buttons in the upper right-hand corner. And this toggle button, if you click on it, this menu opens. And these are your filter settings. So right now, I have your events holidays around the world, and social media holidays all selected. If I wanted to unselect one, all you do is click on the box and it unselects them and takes them off your calendar. Now for social media holidays, I keep these selected because a little pro tip, these are great content ideas as long as you can relate it to your niche. So I always keep those selected. And then you also have regional holidays, Click the down arrow and this menu opens and you'll want to select the region that you live in or that you're using Canva in. And then you also have religious holidays. There are two selections. Click the down arrow and this menu will open. It has Christian holidays and Hindu holidays. And once you've set your filters, you just click out of the box. And then you have your three little button menu. You want to click on those three little buttons. This menu opens and you can enable team view. This will give your entire team access to the calendar. And then to connect your social media accounts, you click on this button and then you pick the account that you want to add. Click on connect. Whatever social media that you've selected will open and you will either log in or give access. And in this case, we're going to give access. And then once it's done, you can select the other accounts that you want to add. And it's virtually the same thing. Now, one thing I do want to mention here is the your events for the calendar. So if you look here in the filters right here where it says your events, I have it selected. This button here and it says add an event. You can now add your own events to plan and remind yourself of upcoming events. So the quick and easy way to add an event to your content planner is to come to this button here and click on new. The menu opens, you can select a post or event. And since we're posting an event, we're going to click on that. This menu box will open. You select your date, just simply click on that. And then you want to add your title and click save and it adds it to your content planner for you. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. 
Now, to add your actual posts and content to post to your social media site, what I prefer to do is to go to the editor where I've made the design, and then you come to share. This menu will open, and you have a couple of different options. So you can automatically select um, anything that's showing up here. You can click schedule, and in this case, you would set the date and set the time. You can also click here share on social and then you could pick which specific channel you want to share on or again you could click schedule the other option is when you click more you will also see schedule on the more menu so let's click that and I created this post for our tutorial today I saw on the content planner that the 17th is World Emoji Day. So we wanna post this on the 17th and we're going to set the time, click on the box. And so we're gonna make this 9 a.m. on July 17th. Click Next, select your channel, write your caption, click Schedule, and watch the bar fill up. Now it's scheduled and it's you can go to the Content Planner And you can see that it is scheduled. It is scheduled for Sunday, July 17th at 9 a.m. And it's scheduled to my Instagram. And there's my caption. Click X and exit out of that. If you also wanted to post this to another channel, come back to your editor and click Make a Copy. If you edit the original design, it will interrupt the scheduled content planner. So we're going to go back to our copy and we'll go to Share. We'll go to Schedule. And we still want this on July 17th. And we will set this one for 9.05 a.m. We'll click next. And then we'll go select our channel. We'll put this one on Twitter and write your caption and click schedule. And now the design is scheduled. And you can go to the content planner. And you can see that it is scheduled for Sunday, July 17th at 9.05 a.m. And you can just X out of that. And then if you look on the content planner itself, you can see both of them are scheduled. And you can look in the bottom right corner of the icon and see what channel it's scheduled to post to. And when you hover, the time and all the information for the post will show up. So when you hover, it will show the time and date and the channel that it's going to post to. Now, if you decided you wanted to delete one of these, simply click on the box, go to the three little dots on the menu, and come down to Delete Post. And that would remove it from posting that day. We're going to leave it, so an X out of it. So now that you see how easy it is to use the Canva Content Planner, be sure to grab the link in the description for a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them in the comments below. I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. And I'll be back next week with a new tutorial. And until then, have a great week and enjoy your Canva.